Imaging is one of the most unutilized data sources that we have in a medical center. There are volumes of data that get created in the images we collect from our patients. Now, even the best radiologists in the world can only extract a certain amount of that information. What is there that I'm not seeing? We have almost an obligation to develop tools to harness that information. Everybody gets a scan. And the information that is in these scans that already collected, acquired, and stored is immense. CIMIT is a scientific ecosystem that brings together scientists that have this more fundamental computational background in artificial intelligence, data science, and imaging, that we can interface with scientists in other domains as well to create this integrated diagnostics research environment. We now understand this incredible amount about each patient. We have the ability to collect data all the way from the molecular level to the environment. And artificial intelligence is a tool that is going to enable us to understand better what we can offer each patient, to actually tailor it in new ways. Your genomic data, your pathological data, your exposome data, your current tests, everything is available and works together. Can we use some of this information to predict which patients are more likely to get a disease, to detect it earlier, to decide what treatment is better for which patient, and to understand better how patients are responding to different therapies. What we want to do is to measure the brain volume inside the skull. My research focus has been mostly on hemorrhagic stroke, the patients who have the bleeding in their brain. The goal is to identify the patients who are at risk of worsening brain injury after initial brain bleed and also teasing out what kind of a brain injury would happen. Once we have these AI tools, they can look at the head CT and give us information about where this patient is going to go in the next few hours to have a more tailored treatment toward the mechanism of the brain injury. There is a lot of effort done in terms of creating models or finding new ways of imaging the patients, but very few of them have been translated to the patient practice. There's a gulf between uh, that research application of research and getting it into practice guidelines. It's one thing to think about data sets and device technologies that are going to work on data sets. It's quite another to take that technology and take it all the way down to a patient. One of the reasons that I chose to live on the medical side of the, of the spectrum is because I would ultimately like to see some of the tools that we make in a laboratory setting make it to the clinic. A more scientifically kind of established path for doing that, but at the same time, a more streamlined way of doing it. We have an algorithm that can tell you if you're coming today for a screening mammogram, if you need to be getting breast MRI or not. Across the street on Broadway, they don't have it. And all women are getting the same screening paradigm without this information. I don't think it gets more real than that. How our tools go from the lab to comparative effectiveness evaluation? Team science is the only way to solve problems in the modern era. And so the goal is to bring in a collection of experts who know their core area fundamentally and also have respect for and empathy for other perspectives. Our vision really is to bring the best talent to the most important questions. So CIMBIT is designed to do exactly that, to take the best from each of these areas, to understand how imaging can drive artificial intelligence. This kind of center allows us to be really physically and mentally present to be able to exchange ideas. The goals are very big. We want to change individual treatment in a way that is translatable and affects whole populations. The tools are there. The success is already there. The talent is uh, unbelievable under Dr. Contis's leadership, and the talent's growing. The motivation behind everything that will happen in Simbit is to bring these new tools, these new innovations, into the hands of clinicians who can deliver better outcomes for our patients. Unless we all come together, there's no other way that we can put together the pieces of the puzzle that every disease represents.